गाइस हाउ आर यू होप ऑल यू आर फाइन टुडे टॉपिक इज शिशुप 3.1 वेल्डिंग क्यूक्यूसी इंस्पेक्टर द लेटेस्ट क्वेश्चंस यू कैन गेट इट फ्रॉम हियर विद द एक्सप्लेनेशन दिस इज द पार्ट 5 पार्ट 1 टू पार्ट 4 देयर इज सो मेनी क्वेश्चंस विद देयर एक्सप्लेनेशन इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी ऑन दैट वीडियोस यू कैन क्वेश्चन टू मी एनीवे लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस क्वेश्चंस विद देयर एक्सप्लेनेशन you can you see here the first question a drawing with symbol 2 bsen 22553 will show a 5 mm leg filler by which of the following 5 mm leg filler means the fillet leg length the 5 mm so the that is the option a is a5 option b is t5 option c is z5 and option d is 5z so you see here the explanation how it will be you see here this symbol a4 means 4 mm design throat s6 means 6 mm actual throat and z6 means 6 mm leg so this is i am giving one example so that you can easily understand so which one comes to here comes here for the filler leg 5 mm so you see here filler means leg length 6 mm means z6 so here no z z is comes 5 comes start here means z5 this is the correct answer so option c is the correct answer you see here option c is the correct answer this is z5 You see, A equal to design throat thickness, A is equal to depth of penetration throat thickness, J equal to leg length, minimum material thickness. So A equal to throat thickness equal to 0.7 into filler leg length. So this is the formula. Everybody knows. Still, this question is very important. So option C is the correct answer. Question number two: Which of the following joint designs is preferred in cyclic lock loading condition? So you see here, four option is there. Four figure is mentioned here: view A, view B, view C, and view D. So how you can understand which joint is coming under the cyclic loading? So first we need to know there is four option: view A, view B, view C, view D. Which view will be the correct answer? now you should know the things how it is the actual cyclic loading condition is coming the effect of a change in section thickness it may be welding cap it may be welding toe so this section if it is changes definitely there can be seen the space is locally reduced at the weld toe means if you changing in thickness if you changing in welding cap if you changing in a welding toe means there is in a certain changes so it can be reduced that stress in the welding toe the illustration shows bead on a plate you see the illustration this is the illustration means view a view b view c and view d the illustration shows a bead on a plate run but full penetration weld will show the same behavior so full penetration if you do then it is it will show the same behavior so in addition if you see the misalignment and or distortion of the joint will cause the applied stress to a further increased perhaps by introducing bending in the component further reducing the expected fatigue life if you see the you see the further uh, introducing bending in the component perhaps then you can see the fatigue life expected reducing so a poorly shaped if you see the a poorly shaped weld cap with a sharp transition between the weld and the parent metal will also have an adverse effects on fatigue performance so fatigue performance there is a pro, if if you not if it is not the fatigue performance correct way then then the joint will not be the good quality so if poorly shaped how we can find out that fatigue performance is not correct 
so a poorly shaped if you see the any weld cap it is poorly shaped because sharp transition means the weld toe and the print metal there is a sharp transition means that is the stress generation is done that is called it's it adverse effect the fatigue performance so you should understand the next page i will go there is clearly mentioned peak stress at weld toe you see this area the stress is generate more this area peak stress this is your weld toe and this is from here to here this area is stress content seven if it is there is undercut and if it is not smooth properly the stress concentration will be more here so norm, nominal stress this is there and the peak stress at weld toe now stress concentrating effect on a change in thickness if it is thickness changing definitely the stress concentrating effect will be done now fatigue crack generally start at change in section or notches where the stress is there locally means this notch this is notch crack will be generated if there is a stress generated more and as a general rule the serpent the notch the certain the fatigue life if it is notch is very serpent the fatigue life is less one reason why crack are so damaging that's why it's a crack will be generated here so the welding cap to be removed when cyclic loading condition is an issue so you have to remove the welding cap when you are thinking about the it should be a cyclic loading condition so option a if you see the option a definitely you see here the root penetration is not done properly so option a will not be the correct one option b if you see the option b option b what is telling option b is the well cap to be removed as above explanation yes well cap should not be there for cyclic loading so well cap should be very if it is there it should be very well smooth well smooth blind so option b also not will be the correct answer so you can see here option b there is also cap that cap shall be removed remove as per above condition for cyclic loading if you see if you see in the root okay this cap there is no weld cap it is removed but you can see in the root maybe there is some undercut or maybe some porosity then it can be a it can not proper in for cyclic loading so this case beauty is the correct one if you see it is well smooth blind the weld cap and this is the back gouging and again there is a root pass done throughout the pieces then it is the properly uh, for cyclic loading so you understand the option b is the correct answer for question number two now question three the number one 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 is shown at a tail end of a world symbol reference line according to bs en iso 22553 what does this number indicate this is very important number so many interviewer ask this question so what is one 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 that is one that is option welding process option b is type of welding electrode option c is welding position and option d is the total welding so which one is the correct answer if you see that is given one example thermal efficiency factor key of welding process process number one to one is submerged arc welding with wire process number one 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 is the metal arc welding with cover electrode so you see there is so many process number is there every process have their different designation so 111 is for the metal arc welding so if you see the this means this is the welding process so correct one is option a is the correct answer question number four according to en22553 if the symbol is on the identification line means if the symbol 
is on the identification line you want, you should understand now this is your symbol and if you see this is on the identification line means this is your identification line and there is some symbol is mentioned on the identification line where does the word means if this is your arrow it's coming and this side this side on the identification line means it's above the identification line there is some symbol so what is mean on both sides well on the arrow side well opposite arrow side well and it does not matter so you should know this side means opposite of arrow side you can understand here you see here this is your welding line this arrow line and you see this side if it is welding means this is arrow side opposite of arrow side you see opposite or arrow side so option c is the correct answer according to question number five according to aws 2.4 where does the symbol go for welding on the arrow side arrow side means below the solid line above the solid line depends on the joint always weld where the narrow arrow is pointing no this should not be the d is not the right answer depends on the joint not right answer there is two a and b it, it will be below solid line or above solid line definitely if you go aws a 2.4 the symbol go for welding on the arrow side means arrow side there is a welding means it should be below the solid line you see you see this is your arrow side means this is solid line this is arrow side the below the solid line means this is the solid line this is the below so below the solid line this is the correct answer so option a is the correct answer question number six asymmetrical weld symbol to en22553 are the same both side of the arrow different each side of the arrow show fillet welds only show bar welds only no it is not only for fillet weld it is not only for bat bar weld all types of joint you can show in this weld symbol but the same both sides of the arrow definitely not the both side of the same arrow it is not the same it should be different you see here shall touch the arrow line shall be parallel to the bottom of the drawing there shall be further broken identification line above or beneath of the reference line so this is the reference line convention and the answer will be the b different each side of the arrow Question number seven, while making a symbol for a symmetrical fillet oil, it should be option A, the size does not need to be mentioned. It is not the right one, the size should be mentioned. The length can be mentioned of the left of the symbol. It is not necessary, it is the left or right. She is the finish is assumed to be flat and the broken line can be omitted. So answer will be D. The broken line can be omitted. For a symmetrical fillet oil, you see, there is a fillet oil for 8 mm. So for this one, like this way, it will come like here. And this one. And this one. It's come like this way. So this is come, the broken line can be omitted. So the broken line you can omit it. Question 8. Which of the following is normally true? A. Impact energy is specified in Newton per millimeter square. B. Is heat input is specified in kilojoule per mm square. C. Is yield strength is specified in Newton per millimeter square. Diffusible hydrogen is specified in ml. First, you understand impact energy is specified is Newton per millimeter square impact energy definitely it should be in joule heat input it should be in kilojoule per mm not mm square so a will not be there the correct one the b b will not be the correct one the heat input is specific kilojoule per mm square but here you can see heat input kilojoule per mm so this is not the right one 
this is not the right one so l strength is specified in newton per millimeter square and the diffusible hydrogen is specified in ml no it should be ml for 100 gram 100 gram well deposited metal so this is the correct this is not also correct one this one not correct this one not correct and this one not correct so this one is the right answer ill strength is specified in newton per millimeter square so you understand the option c means answer will be the c the correct one question number nine an effective weld metal volume reduction can be achieved how we can reach, uh, re reduce the uh, weld metal volume from one joint to another joint so you see here the there is four option a b c and d one is changing from double b to single b b is changing from single b to single u c is changing from double u to single b and d is changing from single j to single b so you should understand here how many types of joint square close square single bevel single j double bevel double j single b single u so the correct one will be changing from you see here reduce oil volume use u preparation instead of v so changing from single v to single u is the correct answer so if you go for u joint preparation definitely the oil metal volume will be decreased you see from this is the how much oil volume is coming here and it is the how much so definitely the oil volume will be less in when your uh, preparation is joined like you question 10 the typical included angle used for mma welding of a 15 mm thickness steel single b bar joint is most likely to be it is very important question typical joint of a included angle means you understand here now i'll give example this is single bevel bevel angle and this is the another bevel so this total angle is called the included angle so what is the included angle for a 15 mm thickness steel angle of v bar joint so 30 degree 120 degree 70 degree and 90 degree so definitely we know very well this is comes always the 70 to 75 degree this included angle means one angle it is one side it is coming 30 to 35 means together it is coming 70 to 75 degree so 30 degree is not the correct one 1 to 20 degree is not the correct one 70 degree is the right one 90 degree is the correct one so option c is the correct answer so answer c is the correct answer so this is the 10 question is very important questions uh, if you and have any questions or query you can just send a message for this particular uh, videos thanks a lot please like share and subscribe my channel to get a regular video thanks a lot